Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous two video, we have done some check uh, before doing our design, and in this video, also I will complete a check and it's a straight drift check. So, for a straight drift check, at first we have to know what is a straight drift, and the straight drift is the difference between the displacement of above story and the present story so let's start like previous I have also made an excel file this is according to BNBC and also it's applicable for ASCE 705 so here we need 1 to 3 3 value to complete our S3 drift limitation check so for that first of all we have to select from here which types of building frame we are using so we are using concrete moment resisting frame and here we need the total height of the building in meter so we'll find total height of the building from our e taps and um, also straight drift from a structure so for that we'll find our maximum straight drift from e taps and after that we'll get our value from here and uh, if you need this excel file so you have to s with me till uh, end and uh, then I will show you that how I'll give you that so after that we have to go e tabs and uh, it is our previous model you all know that so if you don't know about that you can pause our previous video the link are given in description about this e tabs tutorial series so first of all we will run our analysis but uh, before that we have to do something uh, we'll only will found only a straight drift I mean the maximum value of straight drift from all straight so for that we have to do something already I have done that I'm showing you so first of all we have to go load combination and we have to add a combination like envelope so how will add envelope only for we have to add envelope only for combined load load combination so for that you have to go here i'm just uh, showing you that modify so first of all i select here cancel that i'll see new one so first of all here envelope e n v LOP envelope and from here we have to select envelope from here envelope and from there we have to select one by one or load combination first of all that then add 31 then 32 and uh, it may be it may will be uh, one two three four like that in your items so like 33 and at at that way you have to add till last combo and then have to press ok but as i have done that before so I'll do not yet close that and after that i'll run my uh, sorry before that i will watch my history height so to watch s3 height you have to go edit edit s3 and grid system and from here modify and here you are seeing that elevation i mean total elevation height of your building so 54 54 so uh, for that i will is it fit is it in feet but i need the value in meter so total height of the building meter in meters so 
the total height is 54 54 divided by 3.28 16.4634 here we will input that value 16.4634 sorry not here here 16 point four six four here and uh, we have to select that value select that structure type so concrete essentially or any other structure or concrete as we are using concrete for our analysis so concrete and by using that two value we will find our time period and uh, if your country are not following ASCE 5 I mean uh, 705 so you have to edit here this is uh, for BNB or ASCE the time period can be calculated by using CT multiply by building height to the power M so here M is the M have a value for every types of structure so by using that value we can found time period like that T and uh, after that we need a street drift from our structure so we'll go to cancel that again cancel that we'll go to our e -taps and we'll run our M building Okay, it's done after run we have to go here table then analysis and from analysis we have to go result and from result we have to go displacement and from here we'll found history drift history drift again I'm telling you what is history drift history drift is the Suppose there have some displacement and there also have some displacement. So a stray drift is the difference between that two a stray displacement. This is known as a stray drift. I mean displacement, uh, the difference of displacement between upper floor and immediate lower floor or upper floor or immediate upper floor like that. So a stray drift, double click and from here we'll find out our Story drift uh, at initial initially you will find that like data I mean every load will be available here every load will be available here but we will take the value only for envelope because um, after that we'll be able to find out the maximum drift for the story so click here load case or load combination right click and from here will only select envelope here envelope first of all maximum and envelope minimum first of all we'll select in envelope maximum then click anywhere and here we're seeing that there is the value for envelope maximum again click the direction and from here first of all we'll select x direction and from here we have to select the maximum estuary drift so for find out maximum estuary drift you can find out here or otherwise you can right click short ascending so if we short ascending then um, the lowest value are in top and the maximum value are in bottom so right click and copy that and go to excel and paste it here right click paste as value so from here it's showing that our check is okay our s3 drip limitation or s3 drip limitation according to asc or bnbc it's 0 0.08232 for that time period and that building height so uh, this is our allowable and this is our 
value from e tabs so it's showing that this check is okay again we'll go here for y direction right click y direction and again go here ascending and here we'll find our value that copy excel right click paste as value so here it is also okay again we'll go for envelope minimum and we'll again for envelope minimum we'll go here this is the maximum 0 0.00326 again go paste it here as value so it's also okay again we'll go for x direction and we'll use ascending here at the maximum value 0 0.03 here is the minimum and here is the maximum copy that go here paste as value so it's okay and uh, for every data we're seeing that our value is okay like that we can check our stray data and uh, if you are not using bnb or asc code then you have to check it from here according to code or you have to check it here for a time period or you can manually make that and um, that's all for today and if you need this code and if you if you follow ASCE or BNBC or uh, UBC 97 then you can follow that sheet and that excel file and if you need that excel file please comment below your mail and i will try to send it to you thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video